Well, as you can see, the start of the pit fire. Uh, it's actually a barrel fire, it's a form of pit firing. Uh, the pots are loaded into the kiln with sawdust and straw and some chemicals uh, to make a different burn textures on the, on the clay. There's a few other ones in there done with aluminum and ferric um, chloride. We'll see what happens with that. As you can already see, it's only been lit a little less than five minutes. And already, smoke is coming out of the chimney. So I must have packed it right. I'll take a few pictures to the burning. And as I'm doing things, I guess I should have done some with loading the kiln, but I'll do that at another time. Uh, it's just a 55 gallon drum. Uh, I got it out of a book, I'll give you that title later. Uh, but just to uh, give you the first start of it, and we'll see what happens. Well, here we are. It's been about uh, roughly 15-20 minutes. Uh, and the top's burned down just above the rim, so it's time to put the lid on. Uh, you want to have about an inch space from the barrel to the rim to let the air flow down. And uh, just leave it alone, supposedly. Uh, hopefully, Everything will work just fine. You can see where the pipe comes out of the bottom. Goes up, but it's probably up about 14 feet. There is some smoke, but because of the cloudy sky behind it, you can't really see it. Uh, and I'll get back to you when it's closer to being done. Bye. Well, we're back at the kiln. It's been about two, two and a half hours. Uh, a little while ago, uh, the barrel stopped smoking and the chimney was pouring out white smoke. Right now it's smoking but it's just heat coming out of there. We've got the, the good downdraft which we wanted. Uh, I'm going to try to get in. Can't really see it with this camera too well. But you see the ashes, the embers, everything's still got a lot of coals. I can actually see one little tip of a pot starting to peek its head through whether you can make that out on the film or not uh, but there's nice embers blowing or glowing the, per, uh, the barrel outside as you can see is all black all the way down so we've hit almost everything all the way down I got a little concerned a little while ago because it did stop smoking it was just burning out of the barrel I wasn't getting any updraft but then all of a sudden it just blew up I went to go get the camera but it stopped so fast so if you try this remember that it's it, it actually does work so far uh, like I said when it's done we'll see I'll, I'll do a uh, clip on the what the pottery looks like as I open the kiln Hopefully that'll be by tomorrow morning. Thanks. Bye. Okay, folks, here we are back in the shop. Uh, six, or the uh, barrel firing is done. Everything's cleaned and has a, at least one coat of wax on it. Some of them needs a bit more. Um, you can see the, a lot of different colors. These pieces here... All four of these are a raku clay, which uh, really didn't come out too well because it was just too coarse. I tried to save it by putting a white slip, and you'll see there's a lot of cracking in the slip. I uh, either put it on too late. This one here uh, is mostly black because this one was painted with the SIG uh, in an oxidation. That's what happens with the, the SIG. The, um, these ones over here, although this one here is also a raku clay, uh, this one I caught, I put it nice, it's, it's fairly smooth, it still has a little bit of roughness to it. Uh, I did not put the slip on top of it. Um, this one was sprayed with, uh, with, the SIG was put on it, and then it was sprayed with uh, ferric chloride and then wrapped it up in aluminum foil. The little black spots that you see are from uh, seaweed. 
made the color. And then as you, the darker reds you'll see in here, that's actually just from table salt when it was uh, still wet. When the ferric chloride was wet, you just sprinkle a little salt on it to give it some color. Uh, this one here is my red clay, I believe. Yeah, red clay uh, with a white slip over it. Then I uh, put the SIG on it and buffed it and then bisted it. Um, and then put in the same as the other ones, the chloride and the uh, wrapped in aluminum foil. All four of these pieces were wrapped. Now this one here had no seaweed in it. It's just a ferric chloride and the salt. As you can see, all the whimsical thing inside the aluminum foil, what was created. Uh, it's really a beautiful pot. It's a shame it's just not smooth enough that it would show a lot more detail when it was waxed. These pieces here are uh, mostly black because these were sigged after they were bisted and buffed. You do have some color, there's some nice reds, the lines in it, which actually normally would be black. They're actually white, they're from copper wire. Um, this one here has a really celestial look. Nice shadowing, half black, half white. A lot of really pretty color in from that. This one's also a lot of nice color. A lot of nice shading and sh shadows. Um, these few pieces were just plain. There's no sig on. They were sig before they were bis, but not after. So you can see they're more white. This little one here, you can see the shadowing in it and the colors. It's really pretty. Just a small little vase. Uh, this is what I'm going to be calling a paperweight. This one, like I said, was, was sig before it was bisted. Also, that's why it's so nice and smooth. Now, these two pieces here were um, casted uh, with uh, a number six porcelain casting slip. I uh, just I wanted to try it. This one here has a little bit of blue slip painted over top of it. Not a whole lot of color. This one here really came out nice. A lot of shadowing, a lot of you know, color going, a lot of red in the top from the iron oxide. Uh, there's a couple more. There's a plate, which unfortunately didn't work. This was also raccoon clay. I just had a piece left on the wheel. Uh, not a whole lot of color and, and pretty coarse texture. These little candle holders, that, this one here came out pretty nice. This one here doesn't have a whole lot of color to it. A little bit of shadowing in here. Uh, but that's it. The, uh, I'm very happy. Like I said, I only had one pot that didn't come out uh, because of the, uh, it, the lip cracked or broke off. Somewhere a pot must have fell on it. Um, the book, like I said, I, I used was uh, Alternative Kilns and Firing Techniques. It's a really great book. gives you a few different ideas on different kinds of kilns. This is just a barrel kiln. It's just, uh, so if you don't have a kiln, you want to do some firing on your own. Of course, you'd have to find a way to bisque them. But uh, it's a great look. Hope you enjoyed my video. Um, and see you next time. Bye.